Yo, morning guys. Salamu alaikum. I hope you guys are well. Alhamdulillah, I'm doing okay. It's yet another day and I'm super excited. It's just a good vibe, a good feeling for today. You know, each day comes with a different challenge. As I love saying, you know. And um, how do you survive in these challenging times which we have, you know, because we have challenging times. You, you actually don't know how the day will be, but you need to be positive and uh, positivity always uh, gives out fruits which are the best. And even if it's not the best, when challenges come, you're always ready to face them because from the start of the day, you are ready and you are positive that things might be well or might not be well. So, I mean, positivity, guys, is everything. So just today I needed to update you about something which is very important and I, why not share with you guys. So if you're in Saudi Arabia, if you're a newcomer in Saudi Arabia or if you have been in Saudi Arabia for some time, there's this rule that you really need to consider. So there are women who are usually on the streets and uh, it is prohibited to give them money, you know. Sometimes we feel like we need to donate to them, which is very okay, they are women. And sometimes they have children as well. So we might be tempted to give money and in a sort of clear heart, you know, clean heart, just try to help them, trying to save their day, which is okay, it's not bad. But uh, a friend of mine was uh, arrested and that's why he brought to attention that issue and he told me at least to try and uh, give tips, try and educate you guys. So if you are in any town or street which has, mostly the, these women appear, end of the day, it's when you see these women. And they usually walk in, 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 in groups, like two, three, some, some, others, some others have children, some walk with children, that is. So if you are found, assisting these ladies guys you're going to be charged around a thousand real or even more you know depending on the area which you are so the reason as to why they are doing this is that they are trying to assist in giving money to the right channels whereby people can be assisted you know because the right channels this means that you donate to the right organizations which are supposed to help these women they are our women and we appreciate them, but we need them out, out of the streets so that we can try to do something better for them. Other than helping them on a daily basis, it's best that if you have that money, just find the right channel so that you can be able to assist the right channel. After assisting the right channel, which is the right organization, you will be in a position to remove them from the streets and at least have a better plan for them other than being on the streets. You know, there's one thing about money. Money is something that is very addictive. And money being addictive, this means that uh, if you are able to get 200 per day, real, others might even give you 300, 400. Might, like by, by the end of the day, you might end up getting more and more, which is not bad, it's okay. but you won't be satisfied, you know. Money has never been a source of satisfaction to anyone. When you get 300, the next day you'd want 400 or 500 or 600 or 700, you know. So it grows each and every time. The urge of getting more money grows every time. And that's something that we cannot avoid. We are human beings and we love money at the end of the day. So this is something that I thought I should advise you guys. If you're in the streets, if you're just walking like me, like when I go to the streets, I'm always feeling like I, I feel sort of generous to help this woman. It's, it's a danger, guys. So if in Saudi Arabia, try as much as possible to use the right channels to assist these women because they are right organizations which you can donate. After that, they can help these women. So it is a quick update, but I thought it's very important for all of you guys who are outside there, who are uh, expatriates, people who are non-residents, we are the ones who try as much as possible to assist. And also, it appeared to me that, uh, an information reached to me that uh, these women might not be locals, 
So that one I don't know because I just see all of them as the same. Also to the new guys, you know, uh, new people in Saudi Arabia, there's one thing which I'm sure you have been told, but uh, let me try and make it as clear as possible. Guys, if you are working without your karma, without your identification card, that is something which is it's very tricky, guys. Try as much as possible to work with your identification card, which is your karma. If you are very, very new, try as much as possible to work with your um, passport because your passport has a visa for three months. So that shows that you're valid to be here in Saudi Arabia for a couple of months. So try as much as possible to not forget to work with uh, you, uh, your visa which is usually stamped in your passport. So that is something that I also thought about and I said, you know, it's, it's very important. I also talk to you guys who are new. For all the people, we all understand that we really need to work with a, a karma. And uh, for safety purposes, you know, sometimes you might be working and just because I think there's a video I told you that uh, most police people here in uh, Saudi Arabia they are dressed, they are, they, are, they are dressed in thobs, or let me just put it like this: they are dressed casually, like they are. They don't have uniform, so you might be shocked. Someone coming to hey doesn't tell you anything. Just you just hear ikama ikama. So just talking without your ikama becomes an issue. So if you are new or if you like forgetting, always just walk with your ikama. But for the new people, actually, new people. We've been told that one, but it's 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 kind of important, you know. Try as much as possible to just work with your karma, make it as as a, as a normal routine as possible. So yeah, that's about it. So I wanna head out. Uh, nothing much. It's yet another day. Actually, today is Friday. And Friday is always a good vibe. Uh, Friday. Oh, I need to return this this thing. Another day. Okay, so... Ah. Colors, colors, colors. So at least I've informed you guys on some tips and tricks. Not tips and tricks, but just normal information. Which is very important information. It always is important. I know I'm. Um, I know I'm um, opposite the. I'm against the sun, but I'm just doing what I love most also, taking care of my beards. <laughs> yeah, so. And I think today I'll have breakfast. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, hope you're, you're well. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate.